I think between the South African Embassy and the Washington Performing Arts, we understand the power of the arts in being able to communicate across cultures and across languages. Uh, so our relationship with the Washington Performing Arts has been truly beneficial uh, for both our, our Embassy and the Washington Performing Arts. We've had uh, many South African artists that come in uh, to Washington and perform and some of them through just the Washington Performing Arts have ended up continuing to come back to Washington because they've been exposed uh, to this cultural melting pot which is Washington. Uh, I always like to say because the whole world is actually here in Washington. I think you have the most number of missions that you could have in one city. Um, so it's, it's, it's really been fantastic for us. But uh, if I could say one of my highlights uh, for our relationship was when uh, we had the Washington Performing Arts actually bring Vosi uh, Mahlasela and Huma Segela on the year that South Africa was celebrating 20 years uh, of freedom and democracy. And to be able to have them perform and being able to have them communicate that message of freedom, you know, not communicated from the embassy, but communicated through the arts, communicated through the artist, who I believe had much more impact and effect than any write-up that I would do as an official. I would really encourage the Washington Performing Arts and those who support the Washington Performing Arts to really uh, continue supporting this program. Uh, even more so now, uh, and I'm saying that because of the history and the experience of uh, coming from a country like South Africa, where most people around the world actually got exposed to the struggle of South Africa through the arts more than anything else because it's people like Huma Segela who were singing about the struggle in South Africa, that many people got to understand what was happening in South Africa, that many people started to support us because they've heard Huma Segela, they've heard Maria Makeba, and those became our ambassadors when our own country couldn't have ambassadors who were representative uh, of the country. So this is just one context which I know how powerful the arts are and have been for South Africa and how I believe it can be powerful for any other country in the world because really art really speaks across languages and it really builds on the intercultural understanding which I believe is so important uh, for making peace in the world and making sure that everybody uh, lives in harmony and in peace in this globalized world. South Africa.